Hello, I'm Olivia Courtney in the WUFT Newsroom. Live from the swamp, I'm Olivia Courtney. Good morning, South Florida. I'm Olivia with your morning forecast. Not only up security, but would help make entrance into the stadium much faster. One of them is fingerprinting. Police say they're looking for men dressed up as construction workers at the site behind me. Wildlife officials say this is an uncommon sight here in South Florida, but with it being mating season, visitors can expect to see this more often. Pool parties, teen lounges, and even a youth basketball league. Firefighters say the family was able to get out of the home safely, including one son that was able to save their two parakeets. And the circus came to town, so of course I ran off to join. Then my boss made me come back. One, two, three, go Gators! I messed up that <laughs> And the PBS News Hour is coming up at 7 o'clock. Have a good night. Phyllis Saarinen planned a special day for her husband at Sweetwater Wetlands Park. Her husband, Arthur, has been confined to a wheelchair for two years. A retired environmental engineer and longtime conservationist, she thought he would like the outdoor setting. We birded all over the world would be an excellent location for him to enjoy. Phyllis researched the park and came to check it out before their visit. And after seeing handicapped parking, signs, and a wooden walkway, she determined it was accessible. Signs like this one leave people to think that once they enter the park, the rest will also be wheelchair accessible. But their nature walk ended where the wooden path gave way to gravel. We got about this far and then had to come back because the wheelchair just doesn't work on gravel. You know, it has relatively narrow wheels. And as they walked back, they encountered more trouble. Trying to lift it up to get the rear wheels up over that lip and couldn't do it. And then uh, another couple came along and said, here, let us help you. And together we lifted the chair. The city is now aware of the problem and is working to find a solution. One of them is adding an, uh, some additives to the existing material that we have there, which will help solidify it or possibly even paving it. Phyllis says Oak Hammock Retirement Community is bringing busloads of people to the park, so this could be a recurring problem unless it gets fixed. Acapella has always been a tradition in music, but it wasn't until recently that it caught new traction in the modern pop era. And believe me, Pitch Perfect was just the beginning. It wasn't long ago that the movie Pitch Perfect took the world by storm. So much, in fact, a second film was made, sparking a new interest in acapella. Since then, shows like The Sing-Off and Pitch Slapped have allowed viewers to learn more about this art form. Deke Sharon, the creator of these shows and musical director for the Pitch Perfect films, says acapella is something that can't be matched. There's so much technology in music now, so many synthesizers, so much is mechanized. So the natural sound of the human voice, which is the most emotionally powerful instrument of all, is finally getting an opportunity to touch people's hearts again. His goal after graduating college was to spread a cappella sound and style everywhere. His latest group, Vocalocity, is his pride and joy, a combination of all the things he's done his entire life. The show is beginning its national tour in Gainesville tonight, so I asked Deke if he was looking for an understudy, and he put me to the test. Would you be willing to audition that. right now? Can you I audition can for me? Right okay, I need a low note. Go. I need a high note. Go. I need a super high note. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. It's safe to say I didn't make the cut, but after seeing this dress rehearsal, I know why. The show is more than a group of people singing a cappella. It's dancing, comedy, a full production. And it might even make you want to pursue an aka awesome performing career. The classics like Motown and the Beatles, bottom line, any kind of music you like from the past 70 years, you will find represented in the show. And more important, I don't care if you think a cappella is not quite for you. If you come to the show, you will fall in love with it. There's also a new album, Vocalocity, available on Amazon, Spotify, iTunes, and Barnes & Noble. Or you could pick up a copy along with a t-shirt or two at the show tonight. And yes, tickets are still available for the 730 show at the Phillips Center.